What's going on guys, Nick here for another Cinema 4D tutorial and today is going to be a short little tutorial right to the point on how to make low poly uh, landscapes or low poly mountains with inside Cinema 4D. Super easy. Um, it might not be exactly how you're thinking it's supposed to be done because if you just drop the polygons or the segments low on a landscape um, it won't give you the desired effect that you might be looking for so we have this effect here with uh, these low poly triangles that build up our landscapes super easy very fast to do all you gotta do create a new uh, folder a new file and we'll go in and we'll grab a landscape so the first thing that you're going to want to do is I always like to use uh, garage shading lines just so I can see our segments here so uh, position your your mountain kind of the or whatever landscape you're going to want to use whatever size shape that you want you can scroll through the seeds um, to see what we can get so let's say I like this mountain now if I just drop my segment slow we lose all definition in the mountain and while it is low poly it's not exactly what we're going for so I'm gonna crank this back up to 100 and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the fong tag so when I delete the fong tag we get these um, hard edges it takes away all of the blending and the softness and there's a, a tool um, it's under the array object in Cinema 4D R19. I believe in uh, earlier versions it was under the subdivision surface or hypernerb, uh, but it's actually polygon reduction. So this is nice because not only does it reduce the polygons, but it also changes it to triangles. So if I go ahead and drop my landscape object in as a child as the reduced polygon immediately what we're gonna see is all of these triangles pop up and now when we render we get these nice triangular polygons that give this a super nice uh, low poly effect and if we click on the polygon reduction there's a bunch of options here so the strength is the higher it is the lower the polygon count is gonna be so if you find um, a number that you're kind of satisfied with so I'm like in 95 here you can actually go ahead here and lower down the triangle count yourself so it gives it a little bit more um, customizing with the triangle count and the vertex count the vertex being the points where the triangles meet um, so you can play around with that which is really nice um, remaining edges is kind of the the same idea so you crank this up and the higher the edges are the the more the triangle count and everything else is so I think I had it at 95 to begin with and then all I do is I I like the flat white surfaces uh, it's got to be on the polygon the reduced polygon object unless you um, make both of these edible which in that case just makes one object and then you can use the flat white object on that but doing that now you have given up your customizing abilities for your uh, object and to really make the the low polygon um, theme stand out here if we just go ahead and grab a physical sky and come into render settings throw in some ambient occlusion and some global illumination now when we render it's going to take a few seconds longer but we're going to start to get these nice highlights from the uh, ambient occlusion and uh, the physical sky has some shadows built into it while this is very bright right now the physical sky has some great customizing options you can deal with the sun and its intensity but usually I just shuffle through um, some of these some of these daytime settings 
and I, you just use trial and error, you find a time, you pick, you render, and the later it goes, obviously the closer to night it goes, so the lower down the sun, and it changes color as it goes down. So that's, there you have it, that's how you can make some super dynamic, but fairly customizable um, low polygon landscapes with Science in 4D. This is nice because you just shape the original landscape object and then you can do everything afterwards. Um, depending how fancy you're getting, you can even create a editable landscape object and you can put a bend defector on it. Uh, you can do, you can put any def uh, deformer on it that you want. So if you have a really long mountain that you want curved around a a lake or something, just crank up the width segments of it so that when you start to bend it, you have the segments already there to accommodate for that stretching of the polygons. And um, yeah, super easy, super fast. And I hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you guys will um, use this and hopefully you learn something and I'll talk to you guys all soon. See ya.